Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today is Thursday, May 19th, 2016. Take a look at the SPY today. So we flushed below the master 204 level, but look at where we're trading right now, right at 204. So they're trying, the big boys or someone, whether it's the Federal Reserve, they are trying to save this market and they're trying to close it at the end of this day back above 204. Why is that level so important? Because there's a neckline of a head and shoulder there, and it's a major pivot point. Point that has been defended literally for a month. In the last month, month and a half, we have hit 204 to the downside maybe 15 times. All right. Sometimes we've pierced intraday like today. Like today, we were below intraday. This is the intraday SPY 10-minute chart. So intraday, we were below, but it's all about that daily close. If you close below 204, you know where you're going? You're going down to 197, 198 on the SPY, which would be about a 70-point drop on the S&P from here. All right, let's take a look. I want to show it to you guys right here. If you've been watching my recent videos, you've caught this quite a bit. Um, zoom out on the 60-minute chart. Here's your head and shoulders, right? Sh shoulder, head, and shoulder. And then right here, look at this. All right? Essentially, there's your neckline. And look at how we're coming right back up, essentially, to that level. Can they get us above here, which is at approximately the 204 level? Okay, this is a huge level. Look at all the hits over here. All right, look at this. These are just some of the hits going back to April. But look at this. I mean, this is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And look at how you were below here, and they rescued it at the end of the day right there. I know it's a little hard to see, but then we bounced up. We rallied up. We came back in. We hit it again. We bounced up. Then we came over here, kissed it, bounced, hit it again, pierced it today. And are now, look at this, they're rallying us right back above that level. This is amazing, guys. Uh, you know, for those of you that may not follow the charts as closely as I do, the charts literally dictate every move in this market. If, if you can read a chart, you know the next move. Now, it's hard to read charts, which is why a lot of people don't do it or don't try to learn it. But when you find a level like this, you know how epic it is. And again, as I speak of that, look at the spiders get pushed up back above 204. So my point is this. Shoulder, head, shoulder, a breakdown, if you calculate the move, takes you down to, to really about right about this low here in the 197, 198 range right down here. And again, the question is, do they save us? Do they rally us into the end of the day? Do they save this market? Crazy stuff, guys. Absolutely insane. One of the keys today that I thought was interesting is that oil was sharply lower but rallied back to go green today. Tells me that oil probably still has eyes on the to uh, the $50 level on a per barrel basis. Uh, right now, let me pull up that on one of my other screens. Spot crude's trading at 48.15. So uh, just keep that in the back of your mind. That very likely scenario, the way oil's acting, is it wants to pop another dollar seventy-five to dollar eighty-five, get to that $50 level. So that might be enough to keep this market floating. And look at this rally right now. Wow, they're slamming this market up. Go to the 10-minute chart. You can see it even better. Look at this. Here's your lines. We're now back above even the neckline and the 204 level of that head and shoulder pattern. Wow. They are saving this again. Absolutely incredible. Bottom line is, guys, I want you guys paying attention to this level because it is everything. I'm telling you right now, if we hold above it, they can float this market up indefinitely. You finally break it at some point, this market's toast. That simple. Take care, guys. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com.